during our travels to various countries, various cities, we noticed a strange phenomena. It seems that certain activities remain active in the same area of a city no matter what happens historically. For example, in Rome, there's a street just outside the town where you can see prostitutes on the left side of the heterosexual prostitutes standing round bonfires. On the right are the gay and transsexual prostitutes also standing around bonfires. And it seems from what we've learned that that street, that area, has been where commercial sex has occurred for more than 2,000 years. And as you travel, you discover that certain activities seem to remain in the same place in a city, regardless of other changes. Perhaps the soil, the buildings, the stones, perhaps they store information and sexual energy. And that's why we go back. City, city insatiable, I have come to believe that cities are spiritually insatiable. I feel myself, my sense of being, I feel myself consumed. Of course, nothing, no area, does anything to anyone, but we project. We project, expect, demand satisfaction, satiation. Our repulsion splices into seeming solids, building, fantasies, stones, assignations, solids, dreams. They all equalize, maintaining the activity. And in this perversion of limits, city limits, there's a sense of cynicism, of jism, of exploding flesh. And yet, we try to refuse our satisfaction, our fluid climax. And those part of myself that I don't like the needs, the ambitions, the fantasies, the fetishes, even the convincing and manipulation, all these ambitions cause comparisons that create deviousness. And they get things done. We manifest, we feel real, we feel that we are actually there, really there. Solid is the buildings around us, that shadow us, that put shadows over our shame. And that city digests us. 
Its energy maintains our ongoing starvation. And there we are, immersed in this city-state, this state created as a city. And I feel overwhelmingly unhealthy. And I'm mingling in this eternal, infernal, moral hemorrhage and the stones and the sidewalk and the earth, the location seem to place me back over and over again. And we use this fullness, we use this connection, this engorged seduction. We use this, we use this to escape the self. And there we are, our cellular exchange absorbed under time and driven so deep. We are wrapped in a coating of that which would give shelter to someone's rebirth. But in all these senses, in this sensate state, we remain driven by no common denominators. And we move at a considered space and wonder. We wonder about the speed of change. And instead of this, this speeding towards repetition, we still give honor, give honor to the act of thinking, even contrivance. And there we are. And it seems to be that we're missing something. Star riders. We, this organism in this city. Thank you. 
You think it's a game. And it is. A game of ending time. To give away. Give Never. 